why did I learn harp? Um, I, in Wales, you know, the harp is the national instrument. So, it's, you know, in most of our schools, we, we would have a Welsh harp in Wales. And so that, that's obviously quite a, a big factor. The pride of learning our national instrument. In Wales, we would have free lessons on the harp in schools. So a peripatetic teacher would come in, teach us harp lessons. I first and foremost saw a harpist in Bridgend and he came to perform and he, he happened to play the triple harp. And that, that was my first love, you know, to think I'm going to play that. I didn't learn the triple harp, which is a, that's our national instrument, but so I went on to the lever harp, then eventually onto the pedal. And I still play the lever as well. So it's, that's our instrument. You know, why not? Why not play your instrument that comes from your country? The problems that I may find with playing the harp is technique is a big issue. If you haven't got good technique, you can't produce the sound that you want on the instrument. Some students, perhaps they've had their experience in the past with learning the instrument hasn't been as fulfilling. You have to correct things, making sure that they squeeze the strings. So the, the difficulties that you may find with an instrument with teaching the harp is technique, first and foremost, ensuring that they have the security on the strings. You may find some students, for example, here, my current student, she finds it difficult using the pedals um, because she hasn't had much experience with it uh, as of yet. Giving her new pieces, you have to be careful that you don't give her too much, you know, too overwhelming. It is such a versatile instrument. You can play so much on the harp. It's completely chromatic. It has a very wide repertoire. Um, which again, you have to consider that with students. Three qualities of a good teacher. For me, it's complete communication, making sure that you have that relationship with that student. I'm always conscious of wanting to know a lot about my student, you know, to ensure that they're happy. If you haven't got a good relationship, there's only so far you can go. That you know what each other wants from those lessons, so that the student is aware of what he or she needs to do. Make sure that she or he has targets and that she, you know, that, that it's rounded. You're not teaching them to play the harp, to just teach them this is how you play middle C and get the right notes and the right pedal. You're a musician. You need to help them grow as a musician, not just as a harpist. The second, how would I call it? But it's in ensuring that you know what you're going to gain, each of you, what, you, what you're going, you know, uh, me as a, I love teaching, as uh, otherwise I wouldn't do it. You have to love to do it. The student needs to know where they're going, where they're progressing. It may just be a grade or a goal or an exam or a competition or something. You need to understand that you're honing in an individual, a person that's, you're not just teaching a harpist, you're, you're teaching a, a musician. And I think that's where some where they go wrong. That, that it's all about harp, certain repertoire or something that they have to stick to to certain things. It's making individuality. That's the word. Making sure that you you are teaching that the, each person completely so heartily what they want, not just thinking right then here's another harpist and I'm going to teach them A B C. It's it's making sure that you treat them completely individually, which. Some teachers may or may not do that. Mm -hmm.